Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders and YouTube for another London session market analysis for you guys. Again, we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, giving you some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and pop into it. Now again, today is August 24, 2021 here in Hawaii and we'll be August 25th, 2021 in London. For S&P 500, we did have nice movement. It went a little bit sideways, but we did have some good opportunity to go long. Uh, markets did move up as high as, I believe, let's see, right around these 88s and then started to come right back down. So we are looking for support to come in right between these 75 to about 77s as a micro support area. Uh, major for me is going to be right around these 75, 70. Fives. So that's going to be my support down below. Going to see if we can get the support bounce here and then move to the upside from there. Try to retest the 88s and then try to retest those 91 and 92s and try to push through that level into the next area. Measured move up above is going to be 4500 and then 4506. You can see one huge one all the way at the top here, 4538. We'll see if we get all the way back up into that area. So um, not so much, not going to be too difficult right now. Still strongly bullish. We're right at support here. So we do want to see this market bounce right off this area and then head on back up to try to retest those 88 to 91s. Let's move it over into a smaller chart. So looking here at this smaller chart, you can see nice area of support right in this area. We should see the bounce right off this level. This is going to be a good long opportunity for all of those who like this bullish sentiment that we are having. We are going to be looking for the long right in this area. You can see nice wick off towards the bottom. Good support. Nice pin bar candle right there. And we're going to look for the market to try to pop up to the upside. Retest those 82, 84s, 88s, and then above that those 90 to 92s on the way back up so we'll see how quickly we'll get that move or if it kind of drags uh on its way up but want to see that happen for the london session to try to pull and continue back to the upside now for those who want to be short you can try to short 88 if it doesn't break through or you could try to short 91 but again you're going to be going against a lot of momentum so keep that in mind you are going to be going against the actual bullish trend uh, so you're going to be fading that trend but that wraps it up for S&P. Let's move over into gold here. Give you guys a closer view on what's going on or a closer look at what's going on with gold. Um, so gold, you can see we did have nice opportunity to short. Did move into those 18, 12.1s. And then from there, the market kind of dropped off. You can see we're coming down towards some support levels. We broke this level of 1796.1. So I'm in, I am anticipating the market to try to get a little bit lower here if we can't hold these 96.1s maybe try to move into our next level 1792 and if we get below that got a little bit of a bigger level somewhere around 1782.3 so we'll see but we may end up holding 96 we'll see what happens uh, this bar is going to matter the most for us if we get below this level look for the market to try to come a little bit deeper into those 1792s but if we hold these 96.1s, look for the market to try to pop back up into those 1800.1s and then through that trying to get back up into these 1808s and then above that 1812. So I'm going to put that line here right at right around 1808, 1809 because that's going to be a key level that we look out for as resistance as we move up. So let's go ahead and move into a smaller chart here on gold for you guys so you can see as we zoom into this smaller chart a little bit choppy between the level right now you can see sellers taking this over so we really want to see if we can get this bullish support to hold here or these bullish candles to hold here maybe a nice double bottom fail to get through and then a pop back into those 1800s so we'll see what happens there again if we don't hold this support 96.1 which we're kind of collapsing below right now look for the market to try to head into those 1792s and then below that 1782.3 again above 1800.1 1809 and then 1812.1 as resistance moving over into crude oil for you guys so for crude oil as you can see we did move to the upside resistance 67.86 um, and then we're starting to pull back down. Now we want to see if we can catch some support here, 66.89 as it comes down. So it's going to be an important level. As we come down to it, maybe we can get a nice support and then a bounce back to the upside. If we can do 
Then we're going to be looking for the mark to try to head up to 67.86, get through that level, and then next level up 69.37. So we'll see if we get broke, if we break through and you don't get that long opportunity, you could look for a pullback and then a continuation uh, to the upside from 67.86. We'll see if we get that opportunity. But right now, still strongly bullish. So levels of support 66.89, 66.29, and then below that 65.37 as the next level of support down below. So we'll keep it in mind as we get the market to try to pull into support right now. 66.89 is our first area that we're looking. May have a little bit of a micro area here, but I rather the market pull down into those 66.89s and then get the bounce of support and continue from there. Uh, for those who want to be short, right now resistance is coming in right around those 67.86s. So if we fail to break through this level, that could be a good fade opportunity for those who want to go against the actual trend. But that wraps it up though for S&P 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys now if you're struggling to find consistency and success in trading again feel free to become a member with us at pure structure trading take some coaching sessions coaching courses with us we would love to help you find consistency and success in trading other than that team if you guys continue to trade make sure you guys trade well you guys have a Great night. Take care. Bye.